Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow is the full moon. This one is called April's Pink Moon of 2024. And it has really nothing to do with the pink moon. You know, the moon is not going to actually look pink, but it has everything to do with the pink flowers starting to bloom in early April. That's why it's called the pink moon. So if you look into the sky on Tuesday, April 23rd, the second full moon of the spring season will look like any other ordinary full moon sporting a yellow or goldish orange glow when it starts to rise, giving off a whitish tint as it appears higher in the sky. So when to see the April full moon? Well, if you are in New York City in Newark, the near full moon will illuminate at 97%. It will rise in the east, southeastern sky at 6.40 p.m. And on Monday, today, the complete full moon will rise at 7.43 p.m. So this is according to timeanddate.com. A shout out to them because they allowed me to live stream from their website. And that was the Great American Eclipse. So shout out to them. It will also be 100% full Wednesday night, April 24th, as it rises at 8.49 p.m. So this is Eastern times, y'all. So if you want to see the big morning moon as it's setting, it will be sinking in the west southwestern sky at about 5.45 a.m. Tuesday, 6.10 a.m. Wednesday. And on Thursday, it will start to go down at 6.35 a.m. So you have from today until Thursday, if you want to get a glimpse of the April moon. So in some cultures, people refer to the April full moon as the egg moon, the fish moon, the sprouting grass moon, according to NASA and the old farmer's almanac. Do y'all know a black man actually created that? The Old Farmer's Almanac. That's the creation of a black man. So the egg moon nickname apparently refers to the egg laying season. The fish nickname is reportedly coined by coastal Native Americans because schools of shad would swim upstream and spawn around this time during the April full moon. And the sprouting grass moniker refers to the green blades of grass that starts getting taller and greener in the spring. Yes. So there are other moons that are highlighted during the year. In January, you have the wolf moon. February, you have the full snow moon. And uh, March, you have the worm moon. And of course, that was followed by the solar eclipse. So you have, I'm sorry, that was followed by the lunar eclipse. We had a lunar eclipse, ladies and gentlemen, in March. We didn't have the solar eclipse until April 8th. So here are the upcoming moons full moons that we're going to have for the rest of the year. So we have the pink moon um, starting on April 22nd. And on May 23rd, we have the flower moon. June 21st, we have the strawberry moon. These are all full moons, by the way. July 21st, we have the buck moon. 
We have August 19th, the Sturgeon Moon. September 17th, the Harvest Moon. October 17th, the Hunter's Moon. November 15th, the Beaver Moon. And December 15th, the Cold Moon. So these are full moons that will be occurring every month for the rest of this year. So there was also a meteor shower, you know, and I found out about that not long ago. So in the spring, there's also a meteor shower and it, it, it already passed. It was on April 15th. But they said in most places, you know, it was overcast and you might not have been able to see any of those things. So, you know, every now and then I just like to look at the full moon. I, I don't know. I've always been fascinated with the moon. No, I don't worship the moon. No, I don't pray the, to the moon. I don't do all, any of those things. I just like the moon. And I don't think there's anything wrong with loving the Most High's creation. So, y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think. I hope the skies are clear enough over the next few days so you can see the bright moon out there. So, this is April's full pink moon. Please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.